minute intro that she liked to say. <laughs> That's really funny. Really. 20 minute opening comments. Yeah. Uh, feel free to fire questions. <clears throat> So how does it make, how do you feel? How does it make you feel? Yeah, I'm um, super excited. Uh, I feel like I always get recognized for my athletic accomplishments, but with this one, it's about how you're an all-around person, um, what you do leader, leadership-wise in school and um, community service. So I'm just happy to be recognized for something more than my sport. Exactly. Yeah. When did that um, become important to you? Um, at, at what age growing up did you realize, you know, community service is, uh, is a part of the deal too? Yeah, I think my parents always instilled in me um, caring about other people and helping other people. But in college, um, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee offered a lot more volunteering opportunities for student athletes. And so that's when I really got involved with it and really started to enjoy doing all of that rather than just like helping the few people that I knew. And all the awards and trophies and everything that you've won. I know it's two examples and oranges, but um, as gratifying as the success in your sport is, I'm sure the feeling of contributing is bigger, or yeah. how does it compare? Yeah, I think this, this is probably above the other ones, just because of what I said before, like this is me as an all-around person, not just what I can do in this, into the sand pit, and so I think this definitely compares way above any of my other accomplishments or awards. Do you feel like it's almost like a duty type of thing as a student athlete to give back to your community, you know, at a, at a university like this? Um, I think it can be a duty, but um, if it's required, you won't do as much as if you actually enjoy it. And so I actually enjoy it. And so I kind of will hunt out opportunities to volunteer rather than waiting for my coach or waiting for someone to reach out to me and say, can you do this? Have you been able to get other student athletes involved? You know, I don't want to say inspiration maybe, but like you had other people say, hey, you know, it's pretty cool what you're doing. I kind of want to help out too. Yeah, um, I've gotten a few of my teammates to come along with me, but the biggest thing this year I did was um, I finished with my eligibility, and so I put into our UGA track and field group me and just like encouraged them all to like give back and that sometimes we get stuck in our own world and don't realize how blessed we are to have all this at, that we have at UGA. So I just encourage them to give back and find free time to give to the community. You kind of seem surprised when Leland said all the others were from swimming. Like, what does it mean to kind of get this type of recognition for the UGA track and field program? Yeah, I think it puts um, UGA track on the map. We have been trying to lift um, up the track and field program since I got here. I think we got third and fourth and second at um, nationals. And then this year we won national championships. So um, I feel like we're just elevating the track and field team. And I'm hoping to leave a legacy that um, other people can follow. And maybe not to put, oh, go ahead, Brandon. I mean, as you speak about the legacy, I mean, what does this honor do for your legacy as a track athlete for Georgia? Yeah, um, I think it speaks to what I was saying before, but yeah. for my legacy, um, it just shows that I'm more than just yeah. track and field, more than just a jumper. I'm an all-around person, and I care about more than just um, winning on the track. Yeah. Tell us about the weekend. Were your folks there, family there? And... Yeah. So my mom and my boyfriend came, and a lot of people from UGA were there. And the f on Saturday, we did like a luncheon. We got to meet all the girls. We played like a icebreaker. And then Sunday, we went to a community service event again with um, some girls from the Boys and Girls Club and things like that. And we got to pack tote bags for teachers. So it was a good weekend. And the feeling and emotion when you heard your name called? Yeah, um, it was surreal. I was super nervous sitting there when they were like, the winner is. Um, but when they called my name, I was excited and once again nervous because I knew I had to speak and I don't really like speaking that much. <laughs> but it was a really good feeling and having my mom there made it even better because she was almost going to tear up when they called my name. And what do you think when somebody is reading off all of your list of accomplishments like that? Um, I think it reminds me of what I have accomplished. Sometimes I am so focused on the future that I forget what I have already accomplished. And so when I hear all that stuff, um, it just reminds me of what I have done and motivates me also to continue to work hard so I can achieve more. Tell us what you're doing now. So I'm currently um, sponsored by the Atlanta Track Club, as you guys can see. Um, they are Mizuno, um, they, they wear Mizuno clothes. And I'll be competing professionally and I'm also getting my master's in sport management. For competing uh, in the U.S., Europe, both, where? Um, both, probably more Europe because um, they they pay a lot more for track and field over there. <laughs> I mean, obviously, track doesn't go forever. Does this community service and philanthropy like is that maybe like a career you want to get into after track is over? Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. My undergrad is in financial planning, and I really like that. 
Um, and then I've also thought about going back to school, getting my PhD and becoming a professor. And so there are a lot of different ways I could go. I'm not really sure, but that's definitely something I'll always have in my life, whether it's my actual job or just something I do in my free time. Katura, I'm, I'm sorry if you're repeating yourself, uh, just getting your bit. Uh, NCA Woman of the Year, I've heard people say, don't dream, I, I never dreamed that big, but is this, is this something that you were, uh, set out to achieve or anything like that, or were you completely caught off guard by it? Um, it's not something I set out to achieve. I didn't know it existed until this year when Heather told me I should apply. <laughs> and so I applied and I saw people from, that had won previous years and they were researchers and had done all this stuff and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can win it, but maybe I can be like a finalist. So it definitely was not expected. <laughs> Who's Heather? Heather LaBarba, she's the Director of Student Services. Yeah. What's been your favorite community service event that you've done? Uh, my favorite community service event is the one that I created, Amara's Pride. Um, it's a mentoring program for girls at um, Hillsman Middle School. And I just kind of bring in speakers or do things like vision boards with them and just motivate them and help them grow. So I think that's my favorite one.